Okay, welcome back to Northern Ants, and a game. I have not played or released a game. I can't even remember when last time I put out a game, except for like a tutorial on how to do something. Uh, this is actually a game called Hold Your Own. It was released back in 2017, and I had watched videos about it and stuff. I never did get around to buying it, to play it. Uh, but I actually saw a game put out by Game Edge. He put it out uh, yesterday or today, I think it was, and I watched the video uh, showing that they actually are still working on it, and they just released a huge patch, m massive or mega or whatever they called it, <laughs> um, and this is on the experimental branch right now. So let's give it a go. Okay, let's see what we got first thing we need to do if you look down in the left hand corner we've got all of our stats we got our health or stamina or water or uh, protein and our vegetables I think that the very bottom bottom one is first thing we want to do is gather wood uh, let's see what do we need to push to get to our inventory okay I is to get to inventory and we do have things like we have an axe Let's put that in number one. We got ourselves a pistol, some water, health kit, and a torch. And we've got 15 bullets. First thing we want to do for the tutorial is we want to equip our axe and we are going to cut ourselves some wood. Okay, we got a reward of five iron ore. Nice thing you don't have to click the button every time you want to swing the axe, you just hold it. Uh, the next thing we want is to craft a pickaxe. Okay, let's go over to our inventory. I wonder if we could change. Let's, let's jump over to the menu and control the inventory button. I like to use tab for that. Let's see. Reloads are. Okay, where does it show inventory? Open inventory. Here we go. If we want tab. Oh. Okay, and apply. Okay, yeah, this will be much better instead of I was pushing tab while I was trying to play and it just it wasn't doing anything in the first place. I like to use tab as my inventory button. Now, the next thing we want to do is craft a pickaxe. So we're probably gonna go to tools and iron pickaxe. And this is what we need for it. Craft one, it's a twenty about thirty seconds. While we're waiting for that to craft, let's grab ourselves some more wood here. Yeah, it takes a bit to craft or to chop the wood. Uh, if you look up at the top, we've got our time and our number of days, and we've got our world temp, which is 87, and we've got 90 degrees. I love that they have the fact that you can put in Fahrenheit. Uh, I did notice with Game Edge's uh, game, he had it on Celsius, and I. Yeah, I don't know Celsius. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at the map. How do we get to the map? Here's a okay, map under tab. Got a lot of islands. We can zoom in. Uh, these I think are probably going to be caves uh, where we can get some iron ore and things like that. We've got different settlements. Uh, probably like a fishing village and things like that. Uh, the lake in the middle. I'm not sure which island I want to get set up on yet. Uh, it's my permanent base, but we will probably set something up here on, on this base. On this map, we might do go like shoot for that little lake in the middle. Let's head this way. Uh, next thing, we want to gather some stone. Let's get our pickaxe and we're going to equip that. Let's put it at number two. It will just move the stuff down a little bit. Okay, number two. Uh, let's see, where's some stones? I guess we could keep moving towards the lake. There's a stone. Okay. Good. 
Uh, we don't have to kneel down to get it to click to hit the stone, kind of like in uh, Subsistence, where you have to, when you're trying to collect ores and stuff from rocks, a lot of times you have to uh, crouch down to get the pickaxe to hit. Uh, the next thing we want to do is craft wood planks. And it shows to do one. Okay, now let's uh, go over here and wood planks. Half placeables, tools, building. I think we probably should be able to find it in the building section. I don't see anything here that shows to be able to search. Uh, how about this here? All. We have. It should give us the sight of everything that we we're able to craft. Uh, we got a bed. We're gonna. Oh, a helicopter. Workbench. Splint. A bellows. I think we're gonna need the bellows for when we want to make the uh, the forge. Leather. Wood planks. Okay, let's see, we want to craft one. I would kind of like to be able to, you know, like, do an instant craft. That would be kind of nice. Okay, that gave us, oh wow, we got 13. So when you do, it gives you quantity of three per. So for every one that you make, it makes three planks. Which makes sense when you come out of a, a log. Okay, next thing. We want to craft a wood foundation. Uh, to do a wood foundation, we are going to need four pillars. So we want to do four of these. Let's craft those. And then a wood foundation. We've got, yes, yeah, we need the four. Uh, we need 50, or, oh, we need more planks also. Okay, well, let's go back and grab, make a few more planks, too. Need two more. Be a little more, maybe, streamlined way to find this stuff by, like, a search bar would be kind of nice. Where you can just, like, type one word, letter in, and it'll come up to plank. Where is it? Oh, there. That kind of throws me off, too, the way it looks. Okay, there we go. Do a plank, which will get to us, because we need 15 of them, and we've got 13. So, yeah, that gets us three more. So now let's grab over here and grab our foundation. Okay, while that's going, let's uh, head ourselves towards the the little lake in the middle. I think it'll probably be a freshwater lake then too, which will be nice. And it's got a cave right next to it. There are towns too. There is a town over this direction. You can kind of see the line on the mini map. It's a street or a road with the houses on it. We're gonna go over here by the lake and we're gonna get our foundation set up so that and then we will head over to that town. Kind of a low area right here. Okay, I'm hearing something. Is this a stone that we can harvest? Yes, it is. Well, it looks like it might be clay. Yes, okay. We're going to set up right here. Let's grab our foundation. Put in our hot bar here. Number five. And we're going to there's no way, I don't think there is any way to, like, adjust its height and things like that. We're going to set it right there. Next thing, we want to build a wood crate. We're going to need... More than like we're going to need more planks for this. Let's find it in our it, build menu. We're going to need a bed, too, eventually, but we're going to follow the tutorial here. Okay, we definitely need more... We've got enough nails, which we got as a reward for making the last 
thing, the foundation. Uh, let's get some more planks. Okay, we need ten. We've got nine. I mean, we got one. Let's just make ten of them. Or, and when you do, now watch how this, when you do ten, it does all of it. So now it's a minute thirty seconds, forty seconds to make all of them. Or you can do one at a time, which would be ten seconds per. So we're going to go that. We are going to grab our axe while it's crafting that. You don't want to just sit around very much. You want to make use of all of your time because it takes quite a bit to hit these trees to get because it's like two per swing and there's 20, 20 wood out of each tree I think. Yes. Which gets us XP. There's skills also. For each one of these we want to we can actually upgrade different things. Uh, a loon, uh, let's see, level one, we can learn each of these things. Let's take a look. Uh, plant bed, pig hut, chicken coop, hollow pad, <laughs> for the helicopter, a workshop, cement mixer, furnace. Let's take a look at the furnace. I think, yep, we can learn it. Okay. Uh, XP points. We only had one skill point, but we are going to need the furnace at some point, so we used it for that. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake, but we will we'll see. For every... Okay, let's see how does this work. How is XP gained? 100 XP per AI kill, 50 per animal kill, 3 per plant harvest, so 5 per... So these are all the different things. Skill points, I'm not really sure exactly how that's gained, but we'll figure that out gradually as we go. Uh, we got our gear. Oh, okay. We have to learn these things too. Uh, gear, vehicles, we get boats, helicopters. I think there's cars too. I don't see anything on there for cars. Oh, craft time, harvest times, I think. Oh, backpack storage. So we can learn those too. Tools. Uh, fixing damage to uh, pick, uh, harvest. There's, there's a ton. We got to craft, uh, craft the crate, which we're gonna do that right now. Uh, crates, because we will be gathering a lot of stuff when it comes to going into towns and stuff. So we are going to want to have. Oh, we're gonna build fish too, because we got worms. So we should be able to make a fishing pole. Okay, let's take the crate. We're going to craft a bed next. Let's take a look and see what we need to craft that. The bed. Oh, I've got everything we need. Let's get that going now, too. Let's place our crate here so we can start setting stuff down. Okay. E to open it. Uh, let's see. We don't need the worms with us right now. We got some apples out of that. And we got plant fibers, which we'll probably need for... Oh, here we go. Here's our beds done. Let's place this. It's pretty nice how... Watch when we place this. We're going to get an indicator of where our bed is at on the map. Okay. And when it comes to nighttime, we'll be able to sleep, which is good because I, I've heard the the nights are pretty long and dangerous. We want to get some walls up uh, to protect us against a uh, bear, and I, there might be people around too. Okay, let's see. Let's let's set some of this stuff down. Next thing is to build a campfire. Actually, we should probably be able to do that right now before we get set out towards that town. Campfire. Let's see what we need. Uh, in stock, we've got enough for the campfire. Which we'll be able to use uh, when we get ourselves some meat. Which we can find in the town, too. There's a lot of uh, downtime. like Not like huge amounts, but some for when it, it comes to 
waiting for these things to craft. Okay, number five. Let's put it right in the middle here. I don't know if a campfire on the ground inside of a wood structure is really a good idea, but I guess we go with what we got. Uh, now we can do a lot of different stuff. Boiling water, things like this. We do have some water here, but let's take a look, see how do we drink it. Number seven. Now to drink. Oh, not the left click. Right click. Okay, right click will get us the drink. Let's arm our gun. Hit R, reload. I thought that was going to get us something, but I guess not. A uh, hunting knife. We want hunting knife. We've got everything we need, so let's craft that up. So I think we're probably going to need a bow pretty soon. Let's get a bow. And do we have enough to get 10 arrows? Now that knife we're going to need for once we get ourselves an animal to harvest things like hide and fat and things like that. I have not seen any animals yet. Uh, if you've ever played that game Infected uh, with the deer, the sound that they're, the deer make, uh, it's fairly annoying, they or whatever. Um, the, the game, they're, that sound, I think they ported it over from that game. So when a deer comes around, you definitely know it's there. It's a fairly unpleasant sound. I think this is our cave right here. Not sure exactly what's inside of here. Can we use our torch and our pickaxe at the same time? No, we cannot. Okay. Not sure what's going to be in here. Could be something dangerous in here. Keep our eyes to the ground. Some games have like what is that? That's a spider. Yeah, there's a lot of spiders. There too. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's try hitting some of these rocks and see. Those spiders, they might be afraid of the... Oh, it won't let you hit the stones in here. Huh, okay. Let's try kneeling down. Nope, it doesn't do that either. Okay. I guess that doesn't work. Uh, we do have a bow and arrow now. Let's get that on our, our bar. I would rather have that. Oh, we do have scrap plastic now too. So once you drink water, it gives you the plastic scraps, which we'll probably be able to use at some point. Let's grab our bow. See if we can't find an animal. Too bad there wasn't a way to like call them. Okay, that's a wolf. I don't really want to deal with the wolf right now. Let's find something that's not gonna try to kill us. Is that a bear? See that up in ahead of me there? Or is that a stone? Doesn't look like it's moving. Yeah, it's a stone. Oh, there we go. There's a deer. That's what we were looking for. Yeah, hear that noise? Oh, one shot. Okay, let's get ourselves. We can hold the button to harvest. We get some fat, some meat. You can see that over on the right hand side above the mini map. 
what we're actually getting from the animal. Okay, we got 25 XP for that, and we got a reward of two leather. We want to craft a forge now. We do need more, because we need to make a bellows, so we do need more animal, um, because we need fat, or not fat, we need uh, leather and animal hide to make a, f a forge, because we do need to get that bellows. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Some of this stuff I know about because I watched the I watched Game Edge's video on it. Uh, let's see the bellows. See, I see need more need more leather. That wolf is concerning me. Well, he doesn't sneak up on me. Okay, I need five, and I've got seven, so I can use two of them to make leather. Use two. Hopefully that will give us. Let Let's get back to our base before we get attacked from behind by a wolf. <laughs> As we're waiting for this stuff to craft, I didn't even realize that the town is right there. That's <laughs> so weird. I don't know. Did anybody else see that as I was looking around? From down here, I didn't really notice it. Okay, let's see. I'm hoping this is kind of a safe place. Gotta get some walls built. Okay, let's see what we got now. Because we need that bellows. Where is it at? Shoot, I need one more. So I do need to get another. I need another animal hide to get that bellows. Okay, well, I guess let's, uh, let's see if we can't find some more animals. thing I do love about this game so far is you do not you can set it to where you do not drop your inventory I cannot stand games where you have to run halfway across the map just to get your stuff back they do give that option but I turned it off <laughs> being shot back to your base is set back enough for me I, I play the game for the enjoyment of the, you know, like, the building and things like that. Not the stress of losing everything and need to start from the beginning when you get killed. I'm thinking I probably should use my pistol when I uh, come, up across to, come across to bear. Now these rocks, I'm wondering if... We can get rid of all of them. Nope. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. If you could hit that like button if you're enjoying the video. And if you're new to the channel, uh, you know, consider smashing that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know when new videos come out. I do a wide range of different kinds of videos, not just uh, gaming, which uh, I've not put out a gaming video for quite some time. If you're uh, you know, from the beginning of this video, I mentioned, but I do a lot of uh, nature videos and things like that. Uh, take a look at the playlist. It's a good way to figure out what I, what I offer. Watch the watch the trailer on my homepage, and it goes through everything that I. I make videos on. 
There we go. We got our roadway clear now. So if we get ourselves a car, plus we got a lot of clay and a lot of stone, which will be good for making making stuff. Let's grab our pistol out again, just in case. Because there is a bear over here. There's got to be some plants that we can harvest too. I have not seen any yet for veggies and things like that. There he is. Oh, wait a minute, that's a cow. Let's uh let's use the bow on the cow. It might be a good thing to have. Headshot, good. Best way to not lose a uh, waste your arrows is with the headshots. Sell some T-bones and some, some ribeyes and stuff. Why a cow really did not have much, did it? But now we do have enough to craft our our f bellows. Let's get that going. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, so we do need another leather. Figuring out where all this stuff is will cut down on time. Okay, we'll do one leather and that should get us our bellows once that is done in two seconds. Okay, there we go. We got rid of all of our iron. Now let's take a look at our forge. Ooh, we definitely have enough of everything else. So in 15 seconds or so we will have what we need to make the forge. Let's get back to our base as we're waiting. Oh, we got ourselves a wolf. Let's uh, grab our pistol, because he's kind of blocking our return to our base. Wow. Okay. That took a lot more. Sound effects on the pistol are pretty cool. Oh, are we, okay, I was going to say, are we going to be able to get to it under the water like that? Okay. Yeah, we used a lot of our bullets for that. And I'm hoping that that's not our spawn point right here. That wolf spawn point's on top of my base. Okay, let's grab our forge, because we got the bells. Let's see. Let's craft that up. Let's throw some of this meat on our fire here. We put this meat in here. And we're going to need some logs. Now, can we split this? Hit. Let's try hit space. Okay, or uh, shift. If you hit shift, it'll split the logs. And let's turn that on and craft up some steaks. And we'll see what the animal fat will do too. There's a lot of different things that we can we can make up. Uh, we do have to get into that town. I think we'll do that the next episode. Okay, letting that cook. Let's. Well, that's still got five seconds left. We'll get the forge placed. Okay, we got ten more iron ore rewards. So. Good. Let's uh Yeah, let's see what do we let's put it instead of the torch. Okay, now if we open this up we're going to use our iron ore probably to make iron ingots. Let's take half of our Oh, I guess we can't split it again, huh? Okay, there we go. And we want iron ingots. Oh, we want to craft a workbench. Let's make sure before we... Oh, wait a minute. They gave us iron ingots. Okay, so if we want to craft up a workbench next. Workbench right there. Okay, let's see, what do we need? Okay, 10, and we need... Okay, we need another 
plank, which now we need to get some more wood. We need four pillars. So let's grab four of those. Okay. Get that crafted. It gives us the max stack level to 25. Uh, if you look, 100 is a stack for the animal fat. We can build all this armor, leather armors, hats, shorts, pants, snow pants. Uh, so they're seasonal. Uh, so it has a seasonal cycle. Okay, let us... Oh, wait a minute. Iron ingots, I only have five in stock. We need 20. Okay, so we need to make 15 iron ingots. Hopefully we have enough iron ore. kind of figured we are going to have to use this. Um, ingots. Oh, no way. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, i got to put it in the forge inventory. That only gets me two. Or does how many does it give us per uh, quantity? One. So it's only getting me two more. So I'm going to have to go out and find more iron ore. Okay, well, I think that's a pretty good place to, to let off for this episode. Uh, let me know what you, what you think so far. Uh, if it's something you'd like to see more of. Uh, there's a lot involved in the game. So I, I hit the town. I could hit the town next. I could continue on the tutorial. You let me know what you want to see. Um, thank you so much. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I will talk to you in the comments.